What the hell? Looks like there's gonna need to be another patch. Hey everybody, Mariko Curry here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In this part we're gonna continue on finishing off ban- uh, Banjo. Uh, finishing off Treasure Trove Cove. We're already five jiggies in, so we're about halfway done. We only need two more Jinjos to get the next one. Uh, and we're almost more than close to finishing off the notes in this world, so I believe we're gonna be finished with this pretty quickly. Hopefully enough time to like set up uh, for the next video, so let's continue on. Let's also check out what's wrong with that, with that clam. Oh, there he goes. Anyways, if I remember correctly, we're heading that way, but um, I think instead we need to go this way to continue on. Because that's where it will end up afterwards. If you remember in my last video, I was talking about how, like, um, some Mumu tokens we don't actually need to grab because we're gonna get... We're gonna have an abundance of, uh, abundance of, uh, Mumbo tokens in our collection. So you don't need to really worry about collecting, uh, having to look around for more of them if you... Yeah, or if you're low on them, because... In this world, there is no Mumbo Hut or any transformation, but yet they give you a bunch of, uh, Mumbo tokens as well, so... There's really no worry on trying to get or running out of uh, Mumbo tokens in this game because they're pretty much just handing you them while you're going through these uh, levels. Anyways, also remember there's a honeycomb piece right there. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, that was unfair. You'll never take me alive! Alright. Yeah, now that we got that, just keep on going. When we climb up here, we pretty much are just gonna be collecting everything on the way there. I believe there's a jigsaw piece, a piece right underneath this guy. Oh, no, it's just a Momo token, but we still want it. Now, the thing is that he can't follow you underwater, so you don't really need to worry about him if he, uh,. If, uh, he sees you. Just as soon as you get in the water, you just definitely want to make sure that you, uh, get underwater. Wrong button. And he's dead. Oh, I wanted those. I could go down there, but there's also a honeycomb hive right, right over here. So, better just get it from him. Or just get these. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'm also gonna start... The thing is that I'm recording these in col in bulk, instead of actually recording once a day again. Because this is something I can just easily just end an episode and then get uh, continue on with the next one, so... Um, instead of actually waiting for you guys to ask me, I'll, I'll start voicing the characters, but if it gets annoying or like if, I, if the voices I give them get annoying, let me know in the comments, so that way, you know, I can... Make this let's play more enjoyable for you. I, I don't blame you if my voice uh, if my voices are pretty pretty hard to just like withstand. Also, there's a mumbo token um, right behind Nipper's shell. I gotta remember that. The mumbo tokens don't don't uh, add anything to your completion percentage, but it's just fun to like actually complete. Uh, or collect them so that way when you get to like the end of the game you see how many mumbo tokens there really are in this game you know see like you know there is no way you're gonna run low on mumbo tokens the only way you would is only if like I don't know you just ignored so many of them all right so we c this is something I like to do when I was uh, when I used to play this game instead of actually going down the stair or steps like you usually do if you just like slightly put yourself right here like, just slightly walk on it. Whee! This is pretty much, uh, slide down instead. Yeah, look at this. There's two mumbo tokens in this one treasure chest's mouth. Alright. Uh, 
Um, here we go again. I don't think there's anything down there. Nope. I'm gonna want to go over here. Into that box. Oops. Oh, come on. I also didn't mean to swim. The box pushed me down. Gums is coming after me. If any of you guys got that joke, I, I salute you. Anyways. Oh, oh, there we go again. Well, at least we didn't dive down underwater this time. There we go. Just about to top off on eggs. Exactly enough. And with that, we get the next jigsaw piece of the seven. I think the last couple are actually going to be on the way up to the very top of this place. In order to get that, we're going to need to fly. Luckily, we're very close by one, I think. Again, give me that. Alright, if we head down here... There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, Discount Jaws. Got that out of the way. Um, I can get the Momo token on our way out. What we want to do is get on this flight pad, and we we do want to go right, but we there's also a jigsaw piece in this treasure chest's mouth, so we want to get we want to go in here. This be going to turn us booty. Touch it if you dare. I dare. I also like how you can't actually see them when they're collecting it. That golden treasure was for me! Now harder still, the game will be! That sounded more pirate than witch. Like I said, let me know. Especially since my mouth is really dry right now, I can't really do very deep or uh, high voices. I need to get some water. Um, anyways, let's... Now that we have that, we want to head to the right. I'm going to look for my water bottle, because I don't remember where I uh, put it. There it is. Give me one second. No, oh, that's better. Much better. Anyways, we head up here. This is really strange. I like how they just pretty much... Cut off the music and just replace it with, uh, pretty much just, just wind, the sound of the of the ocean, and seagulls. Those will for now uh, give you gamer picks, I guess. You know, little rewards in this game. I will say that a lot of games would be would be kind of fun with a lot of achievements. You know, a lot of old games could really benefit from getting uh, from getting achievements added to them. You know, it gives it more replay re 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 replayability. As long as they're not like those stupid cheats where or not stupid cheats, uh, stupid achievements when you know, oh, you got an achievement for just turning on the video game, or you got an achievement for learning how to jump. I actually mean like challenges or actual, you know, missions or uh, goals to actually accomplish. Anyways, I'm gonna hit this button, get a Jigga saw piece shot out of a cannon. And we're also gonna be vandalizing by breaking into this house with by jumping into it. Also, see what I mean about like there's mumbo tokens everywhere. Anyways, I think it's the last, yep, 
That's all 100 notes. Come up here and... I don't think this is the last one, is it? No, oh, yeah, it's the last one. And that's it for Treasure Trove Cove. Now, to do the one thing I always do whenever I come up here. Ready? Dog's barking. I don't know, I just really love jumping off the uh, island. And, or jumping off the lighthouse and seeing uh, where we end up. Obviously I'm being a monster by harming Banjo-Kazooie, but what can you do? It's fun. At least for me. Unless we just refill their health, as well as get that last Mumbo token that's right behind uh, Nipper's house, I guess. That gives us a total of 10. I should really go stop my dog. Alright. With that. Runty admits she's a hog. I really need a big hot dog. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going any deeper with that. Never mind. I, I even made it worse. Anyways, let's get the eleventh jiggy, bringing us up to three for the overworld. And with Treasure Trove Cove done, we can now. At the next world. Technically, you would think. We, we, like I said, we gotten 200 uh, notes, at least in total. And. The next world is technically up there in the. Uh, right above the pot, uh, pipe, right up here. But since we gotten all 100 from both uh, Mumbo's Mountain and Treasure Trove. We could technically open up this door to continue on to the uh, the other worlds, but I like to th do things in uh, order. So we're technically gonna head back. We're gonna we're gonna continue on with like the re the way the game is laid out for or is meant to be played. Before we do so, we're actually gonna go activate a couple things though. You've activated a magical cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Yeah, pretty much they're just shortcuts. Pretty much like fast travel. Another one! They're pretty much small shortcuts to get to uh, other part the other parts of the lair. You know, much if. Because I think usually when you uh, start the game up again, like as in like quit the game and then come back, you always start at the very entrance of the lair. So, if you're like very far deep into the lair already, these cauldrons will basically make it quick uh, uh, quick for you to make it back to where you were before. In fact, there's also another one that there was also another one down here that we didn't activate. You activated a magic cauldron. Fine, two. Yeah, pretty much the same. And it might look like the same, but the one that we activated before was red. This one's technically magenta, I guess? Or violet? I don't know. But, you know, it kind of, it almost kind of looks the same, uh, if you, uh, if you don't look at it too closely. But anyways, now that we got the, uh, shock jump, we can now jump up here. We can access another pa uh, portrait. And if I remember correctly, uh, if you press the, uh, R or Z button, Nope, there, I guess bottles need to tell you. Yeah, here it is. Uh, you are able to just place, just fill them all up with one button. Make it much faster to put them in. And we cut off, we cut off Gruntilda when she was in the middle of giving a speech. But yeah, now we have access to Clinker's Cavern. We still have plenty of time, so I think I'm gonna go into the area and try to collect some of the collectibles that are in there. Because there are some things that we can collect while we're before we enter the area. So might as well. 
And I think Clanker's Cavern is also going to be another level we're going to have to spend a whole, spend two episodes on. Because it deals mostly with water physics, or water, it's basically the, uh, the, the water level of this game. And, in my opinion, not a very good water level in, in, in a sense. It's not an awful level, but it's also not a good level because uh, of the of just how much swimming and all that stuff you have to deal with. But anyways, we can open the bridge to that area, but we can also activate this switch to get up there. You can also see there's a grate over there that we can also get to, but uh, it's for something else, really. Just hop up here. We found another Brintilla. We could talk to her, but like I said, I'm gonna save it for like near the end of the game. And with that, we can now access that little break. That little pipe. That little algae covered pipe. Now, is there a point to coming up here? Kinda. The thing is, up here is another portrait. And it's actually, I believe, the next level that we need to do after this, uh, after Clinker's Cavern, Bubble Gloop Swamp. Now, the thing is, I could activate it now, but I'm gonna save it for when we actually get out of uh, Clinker's Cavern. Yeah, no, stay consistent. If I was a speed if I was a speedrunner, then I probably would activate it ahead of time. But nah, we're doing it my way. I don't know. I really love it when I really love the little uh, witch uh, cackle in the uh, music. It definitely kind of like gives you that little bit of uh, ambience kind of feeling to it. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's the fastest way to get through. That's the fastest way to get out of water is to just jump out and use uh, Kazooie's uh, flapping. I want to say it's it's uh, like a flutter jump in a sense. But yeah, um, he's got to use Kazooie's uh, flutter jump kind of thing in order to reach that. Hey look, another one! I might, as well, I might as well be DJ Khalil with his whole entire... Another one. And another one. And another one. Might as well. Anyways. With that done with... Uh, looks like we're gonna have to end off the episode here. So. If you like this part, subscribe to my videos. White little button. Give me a good thumbs up review down below this video. And check out my other parts if you like this one. In the next part, we are going to tackle on... Clanker's Cavern. The obligatory water level. So, I will see you guys next time.